Hebrews 4, 15 and 16 says, we have a high priest who is uh, touched with the feelings of our infirmities, and yet he was without sin. So therefore, let us come boldly to the throne of grace. So when I think of prayer, I'm just so thankful that we can go directly to God uh, and develop a relationship with Him, communicate with Him formally in worship, in conversation, crying out with our needs, in praise. A book I read a few years ago was The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson. Um, phenomenal book. And one thing he talks about in the book is that you pray for versus pray through. And pray for is obviously those prayers that we have every day. You know, pray for a good day, pray for, thank you, Lord, for this food. Um, but pray through is that intense prayer or that um, consistent prayer life. Luke 18, um, the Bible talks about the persistent uh, widow who sought the judge and asked for justice. And she persistently asked, persistently asked. And Jesus said that that is similar to prayer that we need to be consistent and persistent in prayer. Psalm 37, four in the Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. I want the Lord to be the, the leader of my desires. I want Him to lead my heart. And so I think prayer helps me get on pace or get on track with what the Lord really wants in my life. Psalm 77, 11 talks about, uh, remember the works of the Lord. And I think it's important because we have, um, you know, challenges in, in forgetting what the what the Lord has done in our lives. So documenting that is super important. Something that helps motivate me and to see how the Lord is working and reminding me of that and the importance of our prayers and the power um, of our prayers. Jen and I were very specifically praying for a couple in our church. Uh, and we got the chance to, to meet them not long ago. And we were very, very specifically praying for salvation. We just found out about seven days ago that uh, this one individual made a profession of faith and is on a journey to grow and study the, the Word and to connect with other Christians and getting themselves involved to, to really see what following Jesus is all about. This past summer, uh, we were actually on a cruise in the middle of the sea. It was in the middle of the night and I felt the Lord stir me and wake me up and asked to pray for this particular individual and this particular family. I prayed for that person and prayed for that family and whatever the circumstances were, whatever they were needing um, and so on. And then I went back to walk back to sleep. After we got off the ship and we had cell phone service, I went ahead and reconnected with this person and just said, just to let you know, the Lord laid you on my heart and I was praying for you at this time. They had been crying all day, asking the Lord for questions, asking, does he hear me? Is he there? My text and my prayer um, and my awakening reinforce that God hears and God sees and God recognizes this person and, um, and just reinforced her faith. For those of you who may be struggling, uh, and again, we would admit that, that we struggle through prayer at times, um, can't always find the words to say. And I know that scripture says the Holy Spirit, he groans to the Lord for us. Again, the Lord knows our thoughts uh, and he can do whatever he wants to do through our prayer life. So if we feel like we don't have the words to say, if we're not proper, if we don't know how to pray through scripture, if we don't know what to pray for, um, Jesus knows our thoughts and, and just start communicating with God. It doesn't have to be fancy, doesn't have to be formal. Although there are times in scripture where it's very, very formal. We see King Solomon pray formally and we see Nehemiah pray very informally. And so I think either approach is, is biblical. The bottom line is just start small, start reaching out to God, start developing a relationship. He's our friend. Uh, if, if you love someone, if you're friends with someone, you don't wanna ignore that person. That would not show that you're committed to, to that individual. So if we say we're followers of Christ, we wanna grow in our relationship with Him. We, we have no choice, even a command from the, from the scriptures to, to pray.